another day and another just job. So we're in the 401 salon and we're cracking on with the work in here. And mum's been in the red bedroom here in the 401 suite. And we're just pushing on as much as we can while the weather's still bad, just to get as much done as possible. So once the weather gets good, then we can get back out in the garden and get all that sorted. So I'll show you what mum's been up to here in the bedroom at the minute. So she's gone along and all of the gaps that we've got. So in the panel where we blocked up the door, she's been um, filling that and getting it all sanded and back in shape just so it looks like one full panel when we can get the undercoat on, which hopefully won't be too long. So we're just using the Ron Seal wood filler, which is to run one of the best ones that we've used um, just to fill the gaps. It's nice and quick and easy to mix. Obviously it's a two part wood filler. So you just mix it up. You have a golf ball size of the filler and then you have a pea size amount of the hardener. Mix that up. You normally have about 10 minutes or so to, to work with it. Get that on and then leave it and then you can just sand it all off and once it's undercoated, you'd never know that there was about 50 different panels pieced together. So yeah, it's all good. So she's been working on where that pink panel is at the minute. <clears throat> she's gonna carry on on that whole wall. Once that's all completely done, then she's gonna start on this wall for the fireplace, get all that filled in. And then, like I said, we can start looking at getting the undercoat on and the ceiling up. And then it'd be time for me to start doing more moldings, which would be exciting to see all those come to life and start showing you the actual style of what the room's gonna be. So while mum's been doing that, I'll show you what me and Ash have been up to. So while mum's been busy in there, we've been busy in this room. And one of the problems we had was this floor. Now, I don't know if you remember seeing it in any of the videos, but it was a patchwork of all the pine flooring. So we had a big section that had been cut out there. We had holes all the way along here where they'd all just been hacked at. And we had a section here where the original half was for the fireplace. If you remember that when we took this panelling off. The half was here and they used a different width of, um, of the floorboards. So it didn't line up. So what we've done is we've took the whole lot up and relayed it and we had just the amount of wood to relay it all. And da, 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 we've installed a half as well, ready for our new marble fireplace, which it just looks brilliant. So these are the tiles that we did buy for the 400 bathroom. So that was the original style that we were gonna go with and it sort of evolved and they just weren't suitable no more. So we've got some out and they look brilliant. Except the style on them is beautiful. Obviously it's perfectly flush, we've got it so it's completely flat. We've mated in the corners. So it just looks like it was originally E really. Um, it wasn't an easy task, I won't lie, and you will see more of it in the future. But yeah, it's done now. So the next job is to start looking at the fireplace and that's gonna be the big job. What I've realized as well, so this is the original panel for when the fireplace was over there. And then this one up to this line has been added in to fill in the gap because the mantle must have came up to about here. Now the fireplace we've got comes up to about here and it's gonna look a little bit odd having it cut through half the panel. So my next just job is going to be to remove this panel and we're just going to put a flat one there so the fireplace can, can put up to it. So then once it's all done, it just looks a little bit more finished rather than having it cutting through half a panel. And it's a different trim anyway. If you look at the trim on this one, so that one curves in. And that one's got two sort of like bevels on it. So it is different. 
So like I said, we may as well take it out for that reason anyway as well. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with that and then we're gonna start building the support for the fireplace. And we're just gonna use the bricks that we took out of the bathroom wall. We're gonna build two sort of like pillars that we can clad the fireplace to. And then go from there. So yeah, that's the plan for the fireplace. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out because I've never actually built a fireplace or put one together. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all come together. And yeah, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have a beautiful marble fireplace back in this room. So if Bam's just going to get some bricks now, because we took all of them downstairs. So she's going to get some of them. I'm going to start measuring up exactly what size we need it. And then we'll get going. So we're getting there with our makeshift fireplace. It's looking a little bit messy at the minute, but all of this you aren't actually gonna see. So the brickwork that we're doing, this is purely just to create some support for the, the actual marble when we're gonna attach it. So none of this will ever be seen. It's just purely a base. So we're not really particularly fussed on how it looks, just as long as it's straight and level really. So yeah, we've got so far up now, we're just waiting for the map to go off. Um, 
it goes off within about 20 minutes, half an hour. So it's, it's great to use for stuff like this. The French always use it anyway. So yeah, it's, it's perfect. It's a, like, a, like a contact adhesive, but it goes off obviously really fast. It's like a plaster. Um, it's strange to describe really. We've never had anything like this in the UK, but yeah, the French use it for absolutely everything. As we've realized while we're doing the shadow, they'll use it for absolutely anything. Building walls, filling in holes, uh, everything. It's used for everything. So perfect for this. So we're just gonna wait till this goes off and then we're gonna look at putting the sides on. So I've already started putting one on just to get an idea of obviously if it's gonna be straight and where our lines are sort of going really with it. Mum's been cleaning all the bits up, ready so we can get those on as well. And yeah, it's it's looking brilliant. I can't believe just how how quick and how good it's coming along. I thought it would have took quite a while to be honest, but it's good. I'll quickly show you the fireplace now so you can have an idea of the style that it is, because it's it's matched perfectly with the fireplaces either side. So I'll show you now. So yeah, as you can see, obviously we're just building these up. So the big bricks at the back, we're using to support the side. And then these ones, they'll be to support the front part. And we are linking them in. You can see there, obviously that they're tied in with them ones. So this is all the bits for the fireplace. And this is the style. And it's nice and simple, but quite decorative as well. It's going to be perfect for the room with the colour as well, with it being a grey blue colour. And this is obviously the salon, which is going to be this the same sort of like colour scheme. So, mum's just going to mix up the last bit of uh, adhesive now for the fireplace. So, we can crack on with the, the next layer of it because it's already gone off now. And then, once that's all stuck, we can look at attaching the marble to it, which would be brilliant. I didn't think we'd get this much done. Um, today but yeah it's good and I think once this is in and all together it's just going to completely transform this room getting all of the floor in and getting like a focal point for the fireplace in it's just going to be brilliant so yeah I'll crack on
So I've just walked in and seen this and I'm completely blown away to be honest with you. It's absolutely out of this world. The, the job these have done is unreal. It has just completely and utterly changed the room. Um, just giving it a sort of focal point now and a, a feature really. Well, it was always such a bitty room, wasn't it? There was holes in the floor. There was. It just felt like it was more of a hallway than it was. A, I, I've never felt it be in a salon. No, no, no. It's never felt anything really because there was nothing to sort of draw your attention yeah. apart from the beautiful panelling. But even that was a bit of a mismatch like when this central part was over in the corner there and it just didn't sort of gel. So now moving the panelling, getting the fireplace in and getting it all put together, it really has turned out. But we have to put the, this in perspective. All of this that's been done in here has been done in five days. Yeah. So relay in the floor, set in a hearth, fireplace in. That's, that's a massive amount of work. It is. <laughs> the floor was one of the biggest jobs to take up all of the original floorboards and then reconfigure them to get them back down. That was massive. <laughs> yeah, that was unreal. And then we've used the original cement floor tiles for the half and they look fantastic. And we've used an original marble fireplace as well. So And the bricks are what's come out the walls. So everything here has been recycled. All stuff that would have ended up Sadly, in a tip or not getting used or... No, it's sad to say, but I think this was due to go in the tip. Um, the guy had ripped it out of his house and obviously it wasn't going to, going to, it wasn't going to be used anywhere. It was just out of his carriage. Yeah, so luckily obviously we got it, we picked it up off the internet and yeah, it, the colour, the style, everything fits absolutely perfectly for this room. Absolutely. And it's just in line with the panelling, so it fits <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Had you measured that before? No. <laughs> just lucky. I didn't measure and it just all worked out. I did have to measure when we were constructing it so it all fitted together. And yeah. luckily my measurements did work out because it's fitted together perfectly. Well done. So. And I've not been skiving. You'll see me soon. I've been out in the gardens planting all sorts. So I'll update you that on that in a, in a coming video. Yeah, 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 that's all exciting. Obviously, Asha's getting prepared for this year with flowers and veggies and stuff, so that's good. And our next job that we'll be on with, with the fireplace, is now to create the insert. So it's not going to be staying a big opening like that. We will be creating like a, a brass surround, mm -hmm. which will go in, and then we'll do another set of brickwork, which will actually face it, so you'll, you'll see them, and you won't see any of these ones. So it will be a lot tidier, it won't be like it is at the minute. That was just purely to support the marble. You've done well. Yeah. So, let us know what you think. Obviously, I think it's the best thing I've ever seen. Um, you, your mum obviously absolutely love it, the job you have done. If you have, let us know in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you got the bell click for notifications and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey, and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.